Hi everybody, um, this is Chico. He is the dad of the litter I have. He weighs 14 pounds. Here he is playing with my son. This is the mom. Uh, here we are at the vet. May 15th, 2020. She was huge. She'd been in labor for about six hours. And there was nothing coming through. So we decided to rush her in. Uh, doctor did an emergency C-section. And we got the puppies out safely. And I knew it was going to be a lot. There was nine pups. Here's a little video back at home. Um, this is probably, maybe, there were a couple or a few days old here. Um, we bottle fed them for the first um, four or five days. And, but we also keep them latched on mom because we don't want them to lose that, um, that suckle effect. And once mama gets through with her, starts recovering, we want them to nurse on her. So, yes, we bottle feed, but we also latch. And um, honestly, this was a lot of work. Nine puppies. Um, all, all we could do was stay on top of it and dedicate a lot of time to them. And honestly, I didn't all right, guys, expect so all of them to survive. Is, um but we've got four week of work, old pups dedication. there was nine puppies to the litter and, um, so I mean it's, it's the biggest litter I've ever had and um so I'm starting the weaning process as usual just trying to stay on top of it and take precautions keep the puppy strong and healthy so I found this to be very effective is this is the Asbilac, we've been using formula for them since uh, they were first born. And um, what I'm doing now is I'm adding, I did two cups of uh, dog puppy food. Put them in this bottle of orange juice. And um, I did a red solo cup of hot, hot water, as hot as it comes out of the faucet. And I did three measuring cups of the formula and um, put them all together in here uh, some people use a blender I don't like using the blender because I want the puppies to um, get that texture in their mouth so they start getting used to it and um, we'll start weaning them off the mom just keep shaking this up give it about 10 minutes 15 minutes it's not going to hurt and then we'll get the puppies and get them on it. I've actually been doing this since about three and a half weeks, so the puppies should already know what they're doing here. Like I said, just add this on for a little bit more uh, nutritionist, and then the puppy food. It's also some really good food I've been using, so give it a try. All right, so I got the puppies getting ready to feed them. Still waiting a little bit more on this food. And uh, I said this was nine puppies, so it's a pretty big litter. Female. This is another female right here. I don't have names yet, but I will shortly because it makes it so much easier for for me to keep record of the puppies. So those are two females. Like I said, I've been doing this since three and a half weeks old. Because it's just too much on the mom. So, this is a little male right here. I 
Here's a really nice looking female. Said I don't have names yet, but I will hear shortly, probably in a week. Here's another female. This is a nice male. This is another male. And um, I know everybody's asking me for pictures and stuff, but I'm going to give them another week. They'll probably stand their ears up. And, um, really nice and then I'll take some time out and get some pictures done for them this is another female check her out it's a really nice litter here um, this was the mom's second litter and I went ahead and got her spayed at the c-section it was just it's just a lot of weight on her um, she weighed about 30 pounds when we went in for the c-section when we got out she only weighed like 16 pounds, so I mean, she was a big girl. There was no way she was going to have these naturally. And then here's a little one, a little micro puppy right here. Uh, I was thinking about keeping them, but I just got quite a bit, a lot on my hands right now, but it's a little micro puppy, right? Check him out. He's half the size of the rest. Come on, buddies. And they are ready to eat. Um, you trust me, this was a lot of work. Coming home from the from the bed. Right after the C section, nine puppies. Bottle feeding them, cleaning them. Uh, just a lot of work. You gotta do what you gotta do, so. said that the earlier you start doing this, especially when you have a big, large litter like this, the better it is on everybody. On the puppies, the mom, yourself. I mean, you don't want to, you want to get that weight off the mom as soon as you can. Because you don't want to wait till these pups are uh, five weeks old. Come here, buddy. Just scared of me grabbing them, eating them. Like I said, they are ready to eat. Hey, Dad, do you see that smallest one? Hmm? The smallest one. Which one? That one. Red. The micro puppy? Yeah, the little runt. Yeah, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this one so little? What do you want to name him? Huh? Little Jimmy. Little Jimmy? That's yeah. a cute name. That, that Alright, put him down so he can eat. Because his brothers are gonna are teaching him. They kind of teach each other also. So because, because, uh, Once they Jimmy, see one doing it. Tiny. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm telling you guys, this is the best way to do it. You want to put some of that formula, you want to mix it into their um, food, let it soak in for a little bit, and then let them have at it. 
You want to get them used to it. This is not the first time they've done this. If it was, they wouldn't have went right at it. And like I said, they are four weeks old. Um, yes, they still latch on the mom, but minimal, maybe, maybe less than two hours a day. And, and the reason you want to do this is because the mom, right now, if I want to start them off like this, the mom can't even produce enough milk to fill them all up. And the, and the one I've been really worried about has been that little one. biggest litter usually we get five six it's a good size never never even thought about having I mean it takes two litters to get this many pups so I said just doing this little video showing everybody um, I know everybody's asking for pictures, uh, I'm actually, um, there we go, I'm sorry guys, I'm using a little, I'm using a new tool here, trying to get some practice in it, but, uh, uh -huh. Oh, you gotta go look. What? You gotta go look. I'm gonna give him another week or so for pictures to come in. Um, I'm hoping by then they, most of them will, will stood their ears up and look really, really good pups, so. These are all CKC registered. I've selectively bred mom and dad for temperament, health, and confirmation. I like the Frenchy look, Frenchy ears. So you'll be able to see on their paperwork all the years I put behind them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get back to it. I'm going to be sharing this video with everybody. Oh, look at that little one right there. Get back in there, buddy. Get back in there. These are going to be short in length, a little short in height. Um, that's probably one of the best pups we're, we've produced in a while, so. Which one? The little one? Yeah. Little Jimmy? Yeah, little Jimmy dying too. Yeah. Can we keep him since he's the tiny? I really wanted to keep him, but I don't think I'm going to. Well, keep him for the longest so I guess we got one we name down. Though, We're going to name the little one Jimmy. Four weeks old, guys. You want to get them as started as early as possible. Like I said, it won't even hurt to do it at three weeks. Because then they know what they're going at for, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, guys. Enjoy the little video. Like I said, I'll have pictures and stuff coming up for everybody here pretty soon. And um, at least this kind of just shows everybody what we're up to here. So thanks for watching.